Hi all, this is Jack and I'm continuing uh, the history of mankind. Okay, um, I ended up last time describing the development and design of the human physical body, which is the vessel that the Anunnaki, the Syrians and the serpents together uh, designed as well as the Atlanteans all were involved in the beginning or the starting point of the creation of the physical human form of mankind. Remember, not yet mankind per se. Um, so I touched lightly on, on in terms of the development of the organs, the specific organs in the human physical form. I will get that, to that more specifically. At the moment I'm firstly describing the or preparing the foundation on which I will expound and be more specific. So, the human form and human physical form was developed, as it is today. Uh, just another point I'd like to uh, point out would be where they found that it was necessary for this form to eat in terms of to sustain itself. Uh, was also gathered from nature that developed during that time. Now, I wouldn't call it that it was nature exactly as it is today. It was more the expression of this living organism, which is called planet Earth. And that's what they discovered. They discovered that this planet was living. It was, it was breathing. It was sustaining itself. And that's why through the breath, that's how the breath was also developed. That's why eating is actually not necessary. Um, or won't be, maybe, soon, one day. Um, plants, in terms of the, it, it, all there are, plants exist, trees, through their method of breathing. And it is the same with the human physical body. Though the requirement and the need to eat to survive is because of actually the systems that have been placed inside the human physical bodies. So it's not actually your physical body that requires food, it is the it is a necessity for the systems inside the human physical body, for the physical body to be able to accompany the systems inside it, it requires to eat to be able to sustain itself effectively. Um, so, the physical human form was developed. Um, now in terms of the dinosaur uh, prehistoric era that did exist, uh, that was more of the the starting point development of the human physical form, that was the period where they basically tested it. They tested the nature of um, the physical form, um, how it operates, how it works, investigating it, and of course the playing with the nurturing, the requirement of the nurturing. Uh, now in terms of the dinosaurs that were developed, uh, they were developed in, with specific uh, genetic um, let's call it coding. So in terms of the, the meat they provided specifically to eat, it was specifically to prepare the way for um, their final product, if I can place it from that perspective. So let's go back. Excuse me for jumping. The Now the Atlanteans, of course, were not aware of Anu's plan to basically use them as the power um, generator of the physical form with it and the systems within. So in essence it wasn't merely just about the physical form or the vessel. It had became now to enslave the Atlanteans so that the Anunnaki may have gold. And to establish themselves actually here on earth. Now, the initial plan, of course, was just the gold. And the gold was quite, quite flourishing, and they knew that it would also start manifesting together with this entire planet, so they required to base themselves here. Um, but he wasn't satisfied with this planet, uh, nor with the nor with only the human physical form and the Atlanteans, he wanted it to become his kingdom, his, 
his planet, his city. And thus, in terms of where human beings are today in this moment, the reason for the uh, enslavement of the Atlanteans within human form, um, you're actually preparing the way for Anu. For Anu, the Anunnaki, the serpents, and the Syrians to be able to manifest themselves here in this world on earth uh, for them to rule, for them to be God, etc. That was the plan. Unfortunately, it did not work out that way. And with that, I will continue as well. So let's go back to Anu now saying, he realizing if the Atlanteans do not want to give him earth, uh, where his gold is on, um, He's going to have to take them over. He, the only way he was going to take them over, basically, was to enslave them into this vessel. Now, the enslavement was possible through the systems that was placed in by the Syrians. And now I just needed to have a plan of how exactly he's going to lure the Atlanteans to not notice what exactly he was up to. Um, now there was just the plain human, it was just a plain physical form. Uh, the male-female expressions also uh, derived from the Atlanteans. Um, you know, so that the, the male expression Atlanteans are able to move into a male expression and then the female expression Atlanteans are able to move into a female expression. The intricate designs of the human physical form I'll have to get into in specific interviews um, because it's very intricate extensively and that's also another history on its own. So I'll continue in my next interview. Thanks.